Hey, welcome to my log, Altitude. And we're gonna go flying here in a few minutes. And I'm gonna show you how to fly in beginner's mode with the Phantom 3 Professional. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome to Altitude. Today, I decided we'd discuss the uh, beginner's mode with the Phantom. It's basically the same with all of them. And that is uh, the uh, limitation. Your limitations are 30 meters in both directions altitude and distance and it won't let you go any further so we're going to go ahead and set this up Okay, go ahead and go to DJI, your app. We are recording, are we not? Yes, we are. You go to camera settings, okay. Bird's not lit up yet, so we'll do that. Okay. She will, okay, she's awake. Camera, camera came blue, aircraft connected to the app. Doesn't mean it's connected to the controller. I'm gonna wait for it to. You see the little star, it's rotating. Okay. There's our picture, it's in, in view. Going to, first thing is to calibrate. Okay. Okay, going to do, a, it says calibrate is normal, but I wanna calibrate the, make sure we calibrate. And cancel, let me go back to here and see. Craft is warming up. Come back up here real quick. All right, your beginner mode is right here. It says beginner mode. You're gonna just go to your. It looks like a uh, the top phantom. And read down your functions, main control settings, and return home. I got that set at 75 meters, so I know it's gonna go up. And then it's gonna, I'm not gonna have to worry about any trees when it comes down. Beginner mode is, it says beginner mode, and then you click on it and it will go green. Now, then beginner mode is gonna come up, GPS ready, point recorded in, beginner mode flight is limited on altitude and distance, limit of 90 feet. 90 feet that's kind of basically uh, limited to an altitude and distance limit of 90 feet so again 90 feet in either direction altitude and distance I want to make sure I don't have uh, I gotta make sure I've got control my controller is connected. That's okay, but I want to go back to my controller and make sure my controller setting is correct. 
Link remote control. And punch OK. And that's counting down. What you need is something sharp tipped so you can walk down here and press the controller because it is red and I'm going to push the button in two seconds release and that should go solid green because it blinks red and green all right and the controller says remote control is linked okay next we want to make sure that the compass is set. I hate when I do that. No, it says 16. That's good. All right, I want to. I'm where you're at. Over here. Okay. Compass calibrate. Punch calibrate. And then punch OK. What you're going to have is a picture of the the phantom and then what you need to do is you need, okay take the phantom and go on a complete 360 degree turn put her down take a look okay that was complete now you got to turn the drone at a and do the exact same thing. 360 degrees. And if you are successful, it's going to say, in this case, calibration failed. Too strong magnetic force detected. Ensure there are no magnetic or metal objects nearby and hold the aircraft at least one meter off the ground then calibrate. Okay, we're going to recalibrate. All right, let's do it again. All right, one meter off the ground, complete circle. And now we're going to go turn it, do it again. And there is no picture, and which means calibration was successful. In, aeron in, aer in aeronautics, we call that the compass swing. All right, we're set, and we got a green light on the controller, which means we are controlled with the aircraft, GPS. We have 16 satellites watching us. They're safe to fly. We'll go right back in again and double check what I just said. We're going into the beginner mode and this is an example of what it will do. Back out and we're gonna do an auto, auto takeoff. She's gonna come up to four feet and sit. Ensure that all conditions are safe for takeoff. Aircraft will climb to approximately four feet and hover in place. Okay, we have nothing in the way. And we're gonna slide that to the side. And here we go. And there she goes. I'm gonna take her up to, oh, I'll take her up to 90 feet. Uh, all right, some recording going here. All right, As you see she's just sitting there. We're gonna go up to 90 feet. We reach 100 feet, she's gonna say, you have reached your maximum altitude. Okay, 
You will not let it go any higher. All right, I'm gonna do a quick slow spin around so I can see my whole valley here. She's hovering at 98 feet. Through the house. The valley towards town. Coming back around. Now, I'm going to go forward, and she's only going to be able to go 90 feet. Oh, she will not let it go any further. I'm going to push. See if she'll come home. Hold it. Okay, she's going to come back. Coming home. That's it, and she's gonna land, and then you can cancel. All you gotta do is tap it and cancel its landing. <laughs> Something. And now I'm doing it. Before she lands on the ground,
Oops. Okay. Wasn't able to cancel it in time, but there you go. She's on the ground, and that's a and that was the emergency return home. I'm mowing my grass as soon as I get my <laughs> bearing for my for my center mower's blade. I will be doing that. <laughs> get this grass mode. So there you go. That is the um, beginner's mode. It will not let you again go 90 feet in either direction, far away or altitude wise. Now to take that off, you're going to go to your settings. And there's your beginner mode. All you gotta do is hit it, and now you're off. Now we'll get into multi-flight modes on another day. Right now I have it in P mode, which is your position mode. Satellite and vision and vision positioning sensors are enabled. So that means all it's, um, this has uh, uh, obstacle avoidance, it has uh, sonar for uh, landing on the ground and uh, those are the safety features with the professional and, uh, and you got A, A is for altitude, uh, satellite and vision positioning sensors are disabled. Only barometric is used for altitude control. And F function mode, similar to the P mode, and allows access to intelligent mo uh, flight modes, which means uh, you have a follow me mode, and you also have a something that you want to fly around and keep a uh, um, and take pictures of it. You have that. That's part of your uh, F mode and we will go into those as uh, uh, time goes on as I learn to use them myself <laughs> so uh, anyway that's where we are and uh, thank you for viewing uh, Altitude leave some comments and subscribe and support and we will catch you on the next Altitude.